Hello viewers and welcome to Noir Syndrome, I'm your host PP Choo Choo and today we're checking out a Steam Greenlight title. So Noir Syndrome here is a murder mystery game and it's a randomly generated uh, murder case game of sorts and as you might imagine we play as a hard-boiled detective working through the night to uh, figure out who this serial killer is and um, with respect to that this game is fairly short though the nice thing about it is that uh, a lot of the aspects inside it are randomly generated and um, as the game sort of continues uh, different events will happen and more specifically all of the every time you uh, start up a game or a, a, a match all of the uh, events change and obviously the the suspects the clues and the murder changes as well so we're going to play a normal game although there is a hard mode but uh, seeing as I don't want to embarrass myself um, we're just going to play the uh, we're just going to play the normal game mode. So here we are, as you can probably tell, I mean, it's uh, it's pixel art, it uses a lot of pixel art. Um, so here we are, this is our detective, the controls inside this game are fairly simple, I mean, it's mainly just left and right to use, um, you know, I, I like to call that like Game Boy controls, where it's sort of just two or three buttons. In this case, we can take a look at some of the, uh, some of the things around the, we can just interact with the environment. We have a gun that we can shoot, and like all detectives, we carry a little journal. Um, currently not filled with any clues or suspects, though eventually they will be, um, they'll, they'll show up. So, um, with that sort of said, let's go out into the town and let's gather some of these clues and some of these uh, suspects. And as you can probably tell, it's a murdery case. It's a, it's a murder case. So, obviously a murder has to happen. Alright, so let's see. Um, this town layout here, this town will never change though, the buildings, uh, the buildings and the town, they don't really change though, the events that can occur inside the buildings can and the occupants do. So this town has a fair amount of buildings, there's like department stores, diners, um, churches and stuff like that, um, but over the course of the game, certain events will occur and uh, certain buildings will be sort of highlighted to show that there are special things uh, going on inside that building. So uh, notably, there's the city hotel and it looks like the, uh, the there, this is where the crime scene is, so this place will have quite a few clues, though uh, it won't have any people to interview as people don't typically um, you know visit crime scenes um, alternatively we can visit the old city landmark the uh, the old watchtower seeing as how a public gathering has appeared here and this is pretty much the exact opposite of the crime scene has a lot of people but doesn't have a lot of clues alternatively inside every single one of these games there will be two locations that are present and they'll they'll typically stay the same and that is the uh, the old hideout the killers old uh, apartment where there'll definitely be at least one clue and there's also a warehouse run by the mob where you can purchase clues and some uh, some other items such as lock picks and some more bullets to help you out so um, they're fairly uh, they're fairly expensive and we only have ten dollars so I think the best thing to do would be to visit this city hotel. Um, you can visit one place per day and as you can um, as you may have read we have 13 days to solve this case so we do have to sort of budget our time here. Let's go to this uh, place and let's just sort of search these buildings and currently I mean the searching is fairly simple inside this game. You just walk around and uh, interact with a few things inside this um, particular location. So it looks like we gathered one clue, some uh, some female blueprint, some um, thing, uh, some female fingerprints. So that is good. Let's continue. Let's walk here. And let's check out if um, there's anything over here too. Oh, found some money. Um, some of these doors inside these buildings will be locked, and you can only unlock them if you've uh, found or bought some lock picks. And it's, it looks like it's, uh, it's a shame we weren't able to find any more clues here, unfortunately, because we weren't uh, able to access those rooms up there, seeing as how we don't have any lockpicks. So, currently we have one clue, we have some female fingerprints, which will uh, help us out, though. Um, needless to say, we kind of need some more clues and some people to actually uh, talk to. 
Um, so, it looks like nothing happened on the second day, so let's go to the old uh, Killers' hideout. Over here we can definitely find some things, and we can also talk to uh, this person who appears to also live here. So, Joseph Hill has uh, pretty much nothing to say. Um, usually, like currently, in the games is is uh, generic dialogue for the people are it's it's pretty lax. They they tend to repeat themselves, and if they generally don't say a uh, suspect right away, they typically won't. So we'll leave that place. And all right, now we're down to eleven days, and it looks like there's an event happening in here, the city hall. Um, it looks like the mob has taken over this location. That would be a good location to go to, uh, to interview some of the people. So let's come over here and search this place. Let's see and let's see, uh, what is happening over here. Again, all I'm really doing is just visiting this location, going to the various different buildings, and I'm just searching them for stuff. It looks like we're finding a lot of clues here, actually, so that is good. Alright, so it looks like we've found a, uh, we've, thanks to the mob, we found quite a few clues, and we've, uh, we have a few names to work with, so let's take a look at what we have now. Um, I should note that currently inside the game, there aren't any red herrings or any distraction clues inside the uh, inside this little panel here. So we know for a fact that the person that we're looking at is going to be is the the suspect that where the killer is definitely going to be female. And going from that, there are three different factions inside the game. There's the police, there are the civilians, and there are the mobsters. And currently, we have a few suspects. We have a um, we have a few civilians and a few mobsters. So we have a few items here. We have some dress shoes, a heavy key ring, and a gun holster. And the dress shoes can belong to civilian or mobsters, and the, uh, the other two objects can either only belong to police or mobsters. So it looks like um, we're looking at somebody who's probably female, who belongs to the mob. And going from that, from our suspects list, we'll be able to figure out what the, uh, the, per the people's professions are. So if we uh, if we sort of take a look at that in conjunction with the uh, the culprit list, um, we'll see here that the James Harris and George Smith are the only people who uh, who are part of the mob, and evidently they're poets and they're not female, so we can't convict them. Um, so it looks like we'll need a few more people to just sort of interview. That sort of said, let's get out of here and let's go to another location to just sort of check out. Another murder uh, site, so it's at the bank, so we'll go here and we'll check out this place. Um, let's see, there's a bank teller booth. You can actually rob the bank inside the game, though it's, um, it's, it's fairly difficult to do, uh, considering that you only have three shots. And it looks like there are no... Uh, there's no clues nearby, and we don't have any lockpicks. Well, no, we do. I'm gonna see if we can just open this uh, door. Looks like we found some colored ink, some bullet casings, and $13, so that's nice. Alright, so we built up uh, some more clues. And let's see what we have here. So again, um, some of these clues will be fairly generic. I mean, bullet casings can again belong to either police or mobster um just basing off of the fact that dress shoes are involved it looks like the person that we're looking at is probably part of the mob and from from the colored inks this uh this person could either be an artist or a tailor all right so moving off of that um we're going to have to leave this place and we're going to have to continue gathering up a list of suspects and stuff so, um, let's see where else we should visit. There'll, there will probably be a lot of mob people inside the warehouse, though um, one of the other things that we have to track, uh, keep track of inside this game is the fact that uh, we have a hunger meter of sorts. And according to our little journal here, we feel hungry, so let's go to either the diner or the market where we can purchase some food, as well as talk to uh, the people there, and they're typically filled with people. So we'll go to the diner here, we can uh, interview some of the people, and as you can tell, certain uh, events sort of pop up. Gained another name, Charles Scott, which is a tailor. Um, which is one of the things that this uh, 
Which is one of the things that um, involve one of the clues that we have here, but he's, uh... Looks like, uh... Yeah, Charles Scott, actually. My mistake. It looks like it's a guy, so we can't exactly, um... Investigate him. All right. So instead, in that case, let's go over here to the uh, to the police zone. Looks like the police are investigating over here, and they should be able to tell us some more information. So they've added uh, Henry Adams to the list, and he is an artist. Again, doesn't really fit the uh, the female role in that. Um, so we'll just continue walking about, and we'll continue trying to, uh, figure out, uh, or rather, we'll continue visiting people over here. Um, the police have set up another zone for this day. Seven more days to solve this case, and I think we will, uh, we have $64. I think we'll visit the marketplace, and we'll take a look at what's going on over there. Oh, and I think I forgot to buy food at the diner. So let's continue. Um, we can buy some food here, too from these people, we can buy, uh, buy a few mangoes or uh, whatever is over here until we're full. There we go. Hmm. Alright, let's see what else we've uh, gained so far. So we've, um, we've, um, we've found out, we found about Elizabeth Baker, which is another tailor. And it looks like one of our uh, or one of our suspects is dead. But Elizabeth Baker here, um, she fits the role of being a tailor, going from the colored inks. Um, she is part of the mob apparently, so that fits in with the rest of the clues. And she is definitely female, just going off of the name. Um, so it looks like we have a fairly uh, likely suspect. But let's see if uh, we can gather any more clues, namely any more names. So let's go to this nightclub over here. Let's see what we can buy. Uh, we can buy a bottle of spirits. I'll actually buy it. I'll see. Uh, I'll see what it does. Oh, you can. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought. Uh, I thought you'd be able to do something with it, but I guess you, you can just drink it. Okay, fair enough. Again, not very many clues here, unfortunately, despite the large amount of people just sort of standing by. Hmm. Maybe we can get a few more clues from this uh, mechanic shop that will pin down the, uh, the case. So again, this is another crime scene. Not very many people, but a lot of things, a lot of uh, clues, namely. Now let's see what we have. We have uh, casual attire, so another more generic clue, and this one is, you know, civilian or mobster. Again, not that handy for us. Um, we need more names, and that is the main thing right now. So there's a still a few more places that we can visit. We've already been to the mechanic shop, but um, we can go to the department store. That place will be filled with people. We can probably go to the town hall or the police station too. But I think we'll go to the Old City Fort since, uh, again, a lot of people seem to be around there. And since we have a lockpick, I, be I believe this is one of the lo locations where it'd be uh, really handy to have a lockpick. Hmm. It appears that there's only one person here. That is rather unfortunate seeing as how that day wasted. But anyhow, let's just go back and let's go to the department store this time. And the department store is just sort of a walkthrough. We can just sort of walk for us and um, we can check out all of these uh, different areas. And I should be able to unlock this door actually. There we go. And the people inside this game, they don't seem... Oh hey, found a lockpick. Used a lockpick, so, so we're good there. Yeah, the people inside this game, they don't seem to mind us just sort of wandering through areas and sort of breaking into them so long as uh, we've gone through the area with lockpicks. So that's good. Alright, well, going back to our journal here, we found a silver ring, we found ornate fabric too. And let's see what we have here. So, uh, Elizabeth Baker again, a tailor. Three tailors, only one is female, or actually two of them might be female. Mildred, Mildred Harris, hmm. Have an artist, too. We found a silver ring and some, uh, 
some something in piece of ornate fabric. So again, the server ring doesn't help us out that much. Ornate fabric pins it down to either, yeah, it pins it down to pretty much a tailor. I think what we need to do here is to uh, just go to one more location. I guess we'll check out the speakeasy here filled with mob. And this, uh, this is the last day of the case practically, so this will either make it or break it. Let's see, I see Mildred uh, Walker over here. No, nope, that's uh, that's a different person than who we were uh, originally here for. Oh, yeah. hey, we can actually gamble inside this location, so that's kind of cool. Um, or maybe not. Oh, we can. It's uh, looks like it's a dice rolling game, so... Huh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, I forgot to mention up here, you can actually rob that vault and you can you can therefore rob the mob inside this game. And uh, you can actually also rob the bank inside it too. Although what that sort of does is that it causes a lot of problem problems with the uh, with the mob or the police respectively. Um you you'll get a ton of money for doing it, but uh yeah, it, it'll put you in a really bad position. Um, Alright, so one day left and it's time to make a decision on uh, this case, so let's take a look at who we have and let's take a look at whether or not we can sort of nail this down. So here are all of our clues, again, prob a female tailor is probably the best um, is the best option that we have. And it looks like there's uh, it's either Elizabeth Baker we're here with this uh, Mildred, Mildred Harris person. Um, to be frank, I'm not sure about this first name, seeing as how you, in this game, you, you kind of have to go through the names and you just sort of figure out their gender by, um, by which one is, you know, common. Like, all of these names, apart from this Mildred one, to me, are, are fairly common English names, but, um, it looks like Elizabeth Baker is the person that we are after. Mildred's, Mildred Harris here, again, fits the bill, um, being a monster as all. Well again as well and fitting all of the clues so i think we'll uh, i think we'll go with that and we will now make a arrest um but now we have to find the location of the person so oh, there we go in the uh in the old hideout so we're gonna come over here and we are going to talk to them and we'll put them under arrest and here it goes ah perfect the case did happen okay good <laughs> I was worried for a second that we um, might have arrested the wrong person and said it was kind of a 50-50 split back there. So, um, the case is closed. Finished it. Uh, finished the case with uh, one day remaining. The best I did was with uh, three remaining. Um, doesn't tell you what the other best cases are, but uh, it looks like my score for this particular match is the highest one that I've gotten so far, so I mean, that's good. Well, anyhow, that is uh, Noir Syndrome for you. Um, I'm playing the press preview version right here. It's fairly short, it's nice and sweet, and has um, enough content there. If you've uh, enjoyed this little first impressions, you know, let's try video, feel free to visit the games. This is the Steam Green Light page, which will be in the description below, and uh, vote up or down, depending on how you felt upon it. See you guys uh, later on.